Hi guys! Hey, Hi guys! Alright guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Chris. Thanks for clicking on my video. Beautiful frosty start to the day here. So let's make our way over to the workshop and get started. Oh, it's chilly today. Here we are. Let's get started. All right, guys, so today we're making a natural slingshot with no power tools. So you can see here I've got a oak fork. Well, maybe you can't see it's an oak fork, but it is. And it's slightly spalted, so the grain should be really nice. There's going to be a bit of carving in this. This is about 45 mil in diameter, just under two inches. Now you could opt for a smaller fork that in its current form already has a slingshot all I really need to do is cut the size here and sand this down but we want to do something a little bit more special a bit more ergonomic with our hand tools I haven't done this before so I want to show you guys so we've got our natural fork it's nice and even room to shape it we've got sanding blocks these are just little Velcro adapters for this, these 6 inch sanding pads that I use. You don't need them, you can wrap the wrap your sandpaper around a board or a dowel or a stick or you can just use it freehand. I've got a saw, a little silky outback pocket board, 4 in 1, a ruler, all the ruler is is to square your tips off and I've got this little sandpaper cleaner. So I'll just clean my sandpaper with as I go. You don't need that, although it'll make life easy. So that's what I'm using to make this frame and a little bit of teak oil to finish it off. So let's get started, get our forks cut down. It's marked at 100 millimeters, and then we can sand in. I plan to sand this into 90 millimeters. These little saws are incredible. Okay, let's start off here with our four in hand using a rasp. I hope you like this video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's where we're at so far. A lot of work by hand. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's get our tips marked in at 90 millimeters. We're actually pretty close to 90 now as we are. Had a bit of bark here fall off on me. It's just square up the outside of these tips. Alright, here's where we're at so far with it. We've got beautiful green in there. Right now it's kind of suiting the right hand hold. But I think I'm going to change that. So let's get back at it. Alright, let's take a bit off this side. Let's get this file down. So I thought I'd just finish this off outside, better lighting, it's a nice day so why not. So I just want to show you guys what really is achievable with just hand tools. You know I think you'll agree with me that that is a pretty slick shape. It didn't take me very long, holds nice either way, a little bit better suited for a right hand hold shooter. I'm left hand hold so I'm going to shoot it this way but it's really just a brace preference but let's just continue to sand this that's all I'm going to do now is sand this down a little bit further minimal shaping I'm going to use two grits of sandpaper 150 and 240 and then we've got a giveaway from January for this green TTF natty that I've done a build video of we're going we're gonna to give that away from somebody who's commented in that video. So stick around to the end. I want to show you guys a little bit about my wedding as well last week. So let's continue shaping. Okay, now we're on to the 240 grit sanding. Alright guys, I think you'll agree that this turned out stunning. That's where I'm leaving it. I want to leave the branch look at the bottom. This thing braces lovely. Yeah. Nice 240 grit finish. Like a matte finish. You could sand something like this much higher if you wanted to. But I'm really happy with that. Super smooth. That's ready to shoot. We're going to brand this, we're going to dye it, and then we're going to finish it. Branding, I'm sorry, sort of as a power tool, but, you know, I want to stamp my logo on there. I'm going to use my branding iron just to put my maker's mark on it. Then we're going to dip it and dye and finish it with teak. Awesome. 
Man, I really sank that in there. You can see that brown's got some depth to it. Right, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna dye this one orange. Alright guys, so here's our dye. Dartford's interior spirit based wood dye. For a kitchen roll I'm wearing waterproof gloves because it really sticks to your hands. Okay, so we're going to finish this in teak oil just in the interest of drying time. Normally I would like to use my beeswax paste, but this stuff dries ultra fast. So I've decided to varnish this. All right guys, so here we are. Lacquered, sprayed, sealed. Holds really good right hand hold. Holds well left hand hold, but be a better right hand hold frame. That's the first time I've done a all hand tool slingshot in about eight years. <laughs> you know, and I could have finished this a lot higher, I could have shaped it more, you know. Possibilities are endless. Yeah, I think the lacquer helped the uh, the colour come out. My logo's real slick. Let's see how she shoots. So we've had a few shots, it shoots awesome, I love it. If you want to win that, comment on this video. This is the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. We're going to give that away and we're going to find out who's the winner of this green frame from our video in March, the build video I done on this green machine TTF. But yeah, it's been a great few weeks for me guys. I got married last week. You know, we had a fantastic day. Great to see all our friends and family again after the restrictions we've been through in, you know, the past couple of years. And yeah, we just had a brilliant day. We then went down to my uncle's Airbnb in County Sligo, done a bit of sightseeing, a bit of shopping, had a relaxing couple of days. It was great. Really needed to get the batteries recharged, but now we're back. We're back on YouTube and uh, yeah, 100,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. If it wasn't for you guys watching my videos, I wouldn't have this. So I really appreciate it. And we're going to give this red one away for the 100k giveaway. Comment if you want to be in. Enter comment. Anything you want. Now let's go and find out who is the winner of the green machine. Okay. So let's do the draw for the green machine. Alright guys, so here we have our build video for the green frame. Nice intro. Let's go to the comments. Scroll, scroll, scroll. We're going to go right to the bottom and then back to the top. We've got 333 comments. 
So let's see who's going to win this. It's quite good for comments for one of my videos, but you guys knew there was a giveaway. Boom. Jamie Wilson. Williams. Winner. Alright, James Williams, you've won this. Guys, the comp to win the red frame. 100k giveaway. No power tools. Natty. All you have to do is drop me a comment. We'll draw that in the next video or two. Two videos, because I'm going to do another video soon. I've got a video to do on this frame. Uh, crap out of the way. I've got to do a video on this frame, which is the Joe Fee Slingshot Hunter new frame. So we've got that to look forward to. But listen, guys, 100k subs, just married, loving life. Thanks to all the subscribers, everybody. I really mean, couldn't have done it. With couldn't have done it without you. So. Big thumbs up from me. Well done to our winner. And good luck for this one. See you guys next time. What do you got there? A lollipop. A lollipop? Who's that girl? It's baby Neva. That's Killian. Daddy. That's baby Neva. That's Killian. And that's Daddy. And that's Daddy. Daddy. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! Who's out there? Daddy! Yay! Leave! Say, like this video! Like this video! What do you say? Say, can I get a like please? Yeah. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I hope you like this video. I hope you like this video. <laughs>